I don't, I'm not sure that this message will end today. We may have be part of it. But we like to introduce it today. Hallelujah. Amen. This message is going to touch some areas of one's life. It's going to be a motivator. Listen, it is impossible or difficult to win any battle which your mind did not want. Hallelujah. Amen. Any battle that your mind did not want is highly impossible to do what? To win them. Thank you, Jesus. Children and have overcome sin 
Because greater is he that is in you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. In the world. Listen to me. The only virtue is not physical. Forget about who you see that hate you. Forget about your neighbors. He hates me. Listen, if you can agree with me, forget about witches. Who you know as a witch. There's a power that motivates witches. The downfall of every man has a channel. There's a reason for it. And it's a witch. It's a witch house. But the same person who is a witch, a wizard, deliverance can go on and you find out that that person is delivered. Something will get out from that one, that life. And what are those powers that get out from that life? Hallelujah. Yeah. What are those powers? There's one comment or one event that happens. The Bible says a man under a legion of the spirit will walk separately in a mountain whereby no any other one. And that mountain is a what? A mountain of tongues. Graveyard, that's where he stays. And when Jesus appeared, and ask a question. Who are you? And they say, we are legion. We are demon. And the Bible says that Jesus cast out this demon before this life. And you see that that man gave back his conscience. So forget about whosoever you say is a witch or is a wizard. Really, they may attack you. And one of the reasons is that they are no longer with their conscience. Because everything about their life is operated by that power of darkness. So, running away from somebody that says he's a witch or he's a wizard is not, not the solution. You can run away from one witch who you know. What of other witches that you did not know? not physical. The early battle is more than sword and gun. Ephesians 6, chapter 6, I read 12. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against power, against the rulers of this darkness of the world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. He said, what? In high places. In high places. In high places. I'm going to talk. Uh, this is going to be a scattered message. So, I believe for sure that your own path will surely fall in. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. This message is designed more of the night. The event that happens night. Night is when good people pray for positive results. Are you hearing me? Night is when good people pray for a positive result. And night is when the evil people pray for negative results. The battle of light mainly happens at night. But they light have a few. But the real main battle is night. Night is battlefield for power. Is it night? Night 
is a battlefield for powers. That is when the powers change hands. The greatest challenge of the life happens at the night. Spiritual war takes place at night. Battle of the spiritual mainly happen at night. Remember that journey of life remains no retreat, no surrender. Prayer, prayer, pray until things happen. Pray until results. Pray your testimony out. Pray out your miracle. Pray out your healing. Wherever they may hide the husband, pray it out. Pray your wife wherever they may hide her. Pray out your children. Don't relax. Don't give up. Don't get tired. Don't get weary. Don't listen to the voices. Don't hear. Don't listen. They will tell you that if you pray too much, they will tell you the amount of how many times you pray, but nothing happens. The simple means, if you are hearing that, the simple means that your prayer already began to touch them. It might be as little as you are doing it, but it's touching them. What you suffer in this earth is not your mother, it's not your father. Listen to me. He said the same thing that fights your mother. The same thing that fights your father. But you are opportune. You are opportune to see yourself whereby knowing and understanding things. Listen. The worst enemy of the man is when you don't understand the things of you, your life, this life. When you don't understand the things of your, your, mean, your behavior, your character, you never ask yourself a question. There's power. There is power. Somebody help me and say power. Power. I read 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. I introduce it to my daughter and then she always uses it. Second Corinthians chapter 10, reading 5. He said, For the weapon of our war, they are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of the strongholds. I say that your forefathers did not worship idols. Listen, those are those idols which your forefathers worship are today still saying, You belong to me. You belong to me. You belong to me. Huh? Until we understand this. The reason why devil follow Jesus is simple because devil sees me or believe that Jesus belongs to him. He entered wilderness, he followed him there. Simple because he believes that Jesus belongs to him. Listen, from the day Adam fell, devil said every life here on this earth belongs to him. You understand that you are weapon in God's hands. Am I talking to someone here? You are a weapon in God's hands. There are many things that you feel that God is going to come down to do it, but you are the one. You are the one. If you ask Jeremiah, Jeremiah will say, I'm a little child. I'm a little child. And the same thing happens to many Christians today. Simple. One of them is that because I cannot speak very well. I 
I don't know what to say. I cannot read. I don't know how to pray. I don't know how to fast. My question see me or remain. If you don't know how to read, what of the fasting? What of prayer? You can pray your mother's tongue. God hear all prayers. Example, Moses met up the world, the gods of the Egyptians. Via prayer. Through prayer, Moses met up the gods of the Egyptians. Through Moses, ten plagues were released before the Egyptians. Don't tell me until you charge. God is ever ready. There are many things that God will defeat in your life, but God is waiting for your action. A place that whereby God commanded that you should use the rod, if you did not use the rod, will something happen? Understand this: that your body, the power, has given to you already. Jesus collected it. If you go to Matthew 28, you find out that Jesus, Jesus said, All power is given to me. He looked at, he said, I give them power to train upon the scorpion and stop it. They fled. Moses, the same before the teacher, and destroyed all the whole power of the you can destroy all those powers that mess you up. You can tell them where to go. You can tell them where to go. They can beg you and say, we'll never come back to you again. They can beg you. They beg Jesus and say, please don't, don't cast out this side. Don't send us the abyss. Send us the swan. So you have power. You have authority. You have power. You have authority. We are the Christian today. The devil will look at all the sentence. With the devil, they will be laughing at them. And say, look at the Christian. God, look at your children. God, look at your children. Listen. America could have been more far better in everything. More than America. I mean, Egypt. Could have been more better, fast hundred, better than what America today. But one man messed them up. I don't know the strong force that are boasting in your life. I don't know the strong power that are boasting in your life. I don't know power that say you don't have your joy, your peace, your happiness. I don't know the power that say you yes, you work, but you don't get your money. I don't know the power that go ahead before you. I don't know the power that rock your water. I don't know the power that whereby others will take a clean water. But when it's your turn to take, and they will rock the water. And you always say, no problem. Very time, in a short while, the water is going to do what cool down so that I might take the clean water. Number 33, I read 4. For the Egyptians buried all their first bone, which the Lord has smitten among them. Upon their gods also the Lord executed judgment. Do you really understand what he said there? He said, even with the gods of what? Egypt. God dealt with them. I use this example. Yeah. 
the house because once they enter house, they know where the believers are. And at the place where the believers go, they never enter there. Yes, Any of the dwelling place of the believers, they never enter there. Yes, but for those, for those who don't know their right, there are people who is calling God, but they don't know their right. That the people who follow God, but they don't know who really who He is. Judas followed Him, but he did not know who He is. He said, for those that what they do, they will take on their head and they use it as a ball at night. They play ball at the night. And where by the word they break, they will return the head back. Some people, they use their back as for table to eat. No wonder why you wake up in the morning and say, headache. Headache. I'm still going to speak more about this. Listen, it is impossible to stop a Christian without prayer. Listen to me. Satan is not ready to repent. Satan is not ready to repent. That which he did against you yesterday, you want to do more today. Only means, only one way to stop affliction, prayer. I just say, and I say it once again, why this prayer is very, very difficult? Why prayer is very, very difficult? We have time for everything, but when comes prayer, difficult. Why? Why? Do you know the nature of the work we do daily? Some of us work at wherever in a chunk of for eight hours. You might have just only a break of work, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes. But complete eight hours to engage yourself in that hard work. But when comes prayer, prayer. Before you know it, <laughs> snoring. And ask them, they'll say that yes, I love it. If I use that prayer, I will launch myself into sleep. It's not so. The only way to defeat affliction, one prayer. Nahum chapter 1, Arif 9. The what do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utmost end affliction shall not rise up the second time. Hallelujah. There are two prayers I never wish my enemy, even if I have any. Two prayers I will not wish my enemy. If I have any, One of them is prayer in what? In fish belly. Hallelujah. In fish belly. When people in that boat come and they say everybody should call their God. Hallelujah. Jonah did not do anything then. Jonah keep quiet. There are many people, many people. They only fight the battle when they want, when they reflow, they blow the final whistle. Final whistle, that is when they say, I will beat you, I will show you, I will defeat you. But the belt or the belt is already given to someone. There are some wrong prayer we do, and that's why some of the prayer is a mix. Because we did not put it on that, I mean, the way it's supposed to. If, and to call any of you 
here. And you test your number. And I died your number. And mistakenly, one of the number changed it to a different one. Will I ever get you? Everybody can 
character you see today have a link. That's where it comes from. Bad lies. That's where it comes from. And that's why it tries so many times to stop them but they never. You put so many effort but they never. You try everything they never. You vow they never. You even give offering for them but they never. Because they say bless. That's a place they're coming from. That's a place they're coming from. Until you dedicate yourself fully. Listen, as I do say, Jesus did not say, serve me half and half. It is we, the Christians. It is we, the Christians. Not any other religion. It is we, the Christians, that say, give the Caesar the one of the Caesar. Give the one of God for all. So it is we. We are the one. We are the one. There's no any other religion that brings it before us. It is us. It's the other say, you drink small wine now. That's what the Bible says. Just take a small. And you said you have a stomach of things. Listen, everything that you see animals are big, but not all that are meant to eat. Every animal you see, not all. There are some people that sit here, no matter how hungry you are, and someone prepare vulture and say, Eat. I believe in a place we don't eat vulture. I believe most of the Africa don't never eat vulture. I don't know, but I believe so. They prepare water and say eat. You look at it and say, eh? You run away. You run away. There are some things you need to run away from them. They are the act of the organization. What they do with those things, they use it to do what? To magnet you the more. Matthew 13 and 25. I love it so much. This depression come from. There are people who lie down very safely, very sound, but waking up in the morning with a heavy sickness. Hallelujah. When the atmosphere is on on the sea or charged, tell me how can devil enter? How can devil enter? Is it possible for devil to enter that house? When the house is way charged, when the Holy Ghost is there moving everything around, how can devil operate? Most of you put air condition to the devil. In your house, there's air condition there. You put air condition for it. Say, no, last very well. In your homes, air condition. How do you do it? Any house that can never say a prayer when we do it in the same house. Devil will feel comfortable here. Hallelujah. Devil will surely feel comfortable because what you do, you just own AC. Especially in the weather of our place, African weather. Hallelujah. I don't say there are some people that work, their car is AC, their house is AC, the office is AC. If something happens, there are people today in their house that are a demon. In their going out, demon. A place of their work, demon. But why man slept? His enemy came and sold ties among the weeds and went his way. I know what? Went his way. Fear this head. Fear this head. If you really understand the power of this head, you don't need to joke with this head. Uh, this is somewhere some years back. I think I use this on time. I deny prayer. Anytime I raise my boss to pray, all the gold doors. That's the event of 
in that rain. All the old pots began to burn. When I closed my mouth, all the old dogs will close their mouth. And I did not notice it. It was the group of people that I would meet that said that was that is any time. Any time you open your mouth. Listen, we might not be praying very well as you might like it. We might not be preaching well the way you like it. But one thing I know is that the Holy Ghost is attacked with us. Was in the beginning before God changed it. And God shared 
it and say, this time is day and the other time is night. The sin of Adam empowered the darkness to overcome or overtake this earth. Listen, forget about the physical sun you see. The very first time that the man committed sin, then the darkness that we are the beginning take over. And how do you enter the light again to see on this earth? It's only when we are in Christ Jesus. When you are in Christ Jesus, when you find yourself in Christ, everything about this earth is deep. Psalm 42, 7. Deep, call it unto deep. Deep, call it unto deep. The only way to know what is happening on this earth is what spiritual empowerment. Spiritual empowerment. The only way that the world European can recognize you is when you have the documents. The only way the heaven can do what acknowledge you when there's spiritual empowerment. The only way the hell will know you is when you are spiritual empowerment. The only way the heaven will know you is only when you are spiritual empowerment. 1 Corinthians 2 10. But God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. By what? His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Life remains mystery. Listen to me. Hours remain mystery. They remain mystery. You need to be careful. You need to be very, very careful. You need to be what? Very, very careful. Wise people watch. They watch time. Wise people watch time. Time is everything. Every function of this earth apart with the time. Our God is a God Ecclesiastes chapter 3 if we read verse 1 to everything everything there is a season and a time a time a time a time to every purpose under the earth listen to me it is unfortunate for one to miss the time the time of his miracle very, very painful. Very, very painful. For one to miss the time of God's visitation. God's time. God's time. Job said a word. I will wait. I will observe. I will monitor. For I know for sure that my time, Job 14 and 14, if a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change come. Hallelujah. That's the word that Mother of Jesus says, Mother of Jesus says, Jesus, yes, the wine is finished. And Jesus says something, not yet my time. He said that Jesus already knew. Jesus already knew. But how many people today that are that time? Say, God, come with you, argument with you, every six o'clock, 
the morning. I must surely pray. It's a die. Time. If you say it's going to be 12, it's a time. The problem before the actor, it was the time, appointed time for their meeting. And God came there, did not see him. And he asked, Where are you? It is time for our meeting. Where are you? I read John chapter 2. John chapter 2, reading 3 and 4. And when they wanted wine, and the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. And Jesus says unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. So there are some people who know their time. But there are people who never know their time. And they are not worried about it. There are people that they don't, you know, this like, like this life. There are some people that can eat at any time. There are some people that if they wake up by 2 a.m., they will enter the kitchen and eat. But there are some people whereby they cease from eating from 8 p.m. There are some that they only stay. There are some people that take their body's desire breakfast by their food. Hallelujah. Many never know time. And that's why they, most of them are all weather. All weather. Listen to me. Time is a spirit. Time is a spirit. And that's why you cannot hold it. Have you seen anyone who holds time? You cannot arrest time. You cannot imprison time. No one has power to control time. You wait for it once you come, whatever your acts, whatever your activities. But for you to control time is impossible.
world, this life is all about competition. To get your marriage, you must compete. To marry a good man, you must compete. To marry a good wife, you must compete. To have children, you must compete. To have a good job, you must compete. To have your peace, your joy, your happiness, you must compete. You must compete. So the training every day, the day day of the world competition will come. And that day of the competition, if it's that day you say, I determine to train that day of the competition. The bed that build their house today, the they need to lay their eggs. Bed. The day they meant to lay their what the eggs, that's where they I want to build my house. You never walk like that. Listen to me. You have something to compete. Daniel is a man of prayer. Daniel is a man of prayer. He shows so many examples as a man of prayer. When they tried to stop him, he opened his windows and he fed Jerusalem and he lifted his hand and called his God. He was training then. He said, Training. He said, Training. Christianity is not only food. Food. Christianity is not only God. Give me job. Give me marriage. Give me everything. All these things can be given to you, but the enemy can take them back. The enemy can take them. Most of you here can claim the amount you made. From January to December, you find out that you're a rich person. But where are the money? Where are the money? Where are the money? Am I talking to someone here? Where are the money? That well, now, enemy already know that the only way to stop his faith is by stopping his prayer. And the Bible says, even as they said that nobody should petition, but he opened the windows. For the people to know that he's praying. A day of the competition came. And what did he compete with? He compete with the lion. He compete with the lion. The Bible said they threw him in a lion name. But the lion. Sometimes they go and let you know that the lion cannot, that cat lion cannot eat the other lion. Because what appeared before them. Those lions there. We are the lion of the tribe of Judea. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Listen to me. You never do any training at all. You never do any. You don't know how to pray. You never do any training. And they, they bring you out because of coach love you. Because coach love you. And he brings you out and says, go and play. Follow them and play. You can break down the world, the victory of that team. What some coach, some coach, if you did not train with them, the number of the days, the number of the days, when the match comes, they will never feel you. They will not feel you. Life is not all about shoulder, raising your shoulder. I'm a native man, cultural man. Hallelujah. You know in our place, you know in our place, if a woman wants to serve us a food as a husband, the wife must to kneel down and remain there until you finish your food. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Until you understand this, am I talking to someone here? There's a request you need, there's a request you're asking. That's a blockage. That's a blockage. That's a blockage. That's why I love this Daniel. I said that today I'm going to introduce it a little. But who know? That's a blockage. That's a what called spiritual concrete. Spiritual concrete. That's why your husband never come. That's why it's not that you're a bad person. It's not that you're a bad person. It's not that you're the worst woman. No. Listen, it's not because you don't, you don't labor. You labor. You walk. But as a concrete, concrete over the prayer. If here, one of our daughters came there. One time that what our daughter lifted. Some 
we are witness. Some are you not witness? Hallelujah. The girl cannot move. She's paralyzed. It might be a stroke. But some are told then they will are shouting and praying. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Hallelujah. <laughs> but nothing shows. Nothing shows. Nothing shows. And if they say, let me advise you people, that this year prayer is not going anywhere. It's better for the pastor. Hallelujah. And as I enter there, the God that cannot stand, just only a word. Only a word. Only a word. She got up with me and began to laugh. Began to jump up. Listen, I tell someone here who wants to know, who wants to hear, that the word more spiritual concrete. You see, the houses we always build. Up this. Up this. If you ever the honor of the look, that the word is concrete here. Yeah. Concrete. You cannot penetrate it to enter your is it possible? Is it possible? You must follow the staircase to enter that place. If you want to get every of your goodies, every of your happiness, every of your joy, that they tell for you to clap it. And one of them is what? Prayer! Prayer! Prayer is organized the plan and activities of the power of that place against who? Against you. Against you. You don't know what happened. When you open your mouth and say to pray, what do you do? Let you get began to happen. Let you get began to happen. I never want to go to bed about the Paul and Silas. Prayer. When you begin to pray, every door's freezing gate begins to open. Listen, every good thing and whatever that belongs to you, that the way they lock it. When we are talking about COVID, many people do not understand. That's the COVID. That's the COVID. That's the COVID. If you like, believe it. If you don't like, if you like, believe. If you don't like, better say COVID. Listen, that's the eye that watching every step you make. That's the eye that watching every step. That's the eye that watch every step. That's the eye that watch every step you make. What every step you make. You did not understand what I mean. Look at Jesus. Enter with the and they follow him. They follow him to wilderness. Jesus entered. He entered. What do he seek for? What do he want for? What do he want? What was the reason of him entering wilderness? In order for him to walk in his destiny. They want his destiny to show. And the Bible said they follow him. They follow him. Look, listen. Entering Europe is not the problem. You can make your way to Europe. You can make your way to high institution. You can make your way in any nature or any kind of business. You can make your way in any kind of marriage. You can make your way in whatsoever. But for those things to last, for those things to last, I want to introduce someone here what you never think about your life. Who is the prince of the passion? Who is the prince of the passion? Where are they? Where are they? They are the concrete that block every prayer you make. They are the concrete that block and say that your glory will not come. They are the power. And where are they? The Bible said they are in heavenly places. Don't they? And where your blessing is coming from? Where your blessing is coming from? Every perfect and good thing coming from where? From above. From above. Where are they coming from? Your good, your happiness, your joy, your lifting, your glory. Where are they coming from? Better say concrete day. Meditate 
about this. A whole angel, a whole angel, a angel of God, angel of God. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming your neighbor. Engage yourself in something. Find that one chapter in the Bible and begin to read it. The meditate it over and over. That's where you start. One more place. It might be John. It might be John. 10 and 30. God, I don't know much. John, 10 and 30. God, I don't know much about you. But this one, I began to look it over and over. My eyes fish on it over and over. John 10 and 30. I am my father. I am my father and one. Use it as a song. Use it as a song. Develop the attitude that whereby you are going on street, you are singing praises. In your heart, you are singing praises. Angel of God. Angel of God. That can destroy all the world forever. The Bible says that three of them destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But this power holds the angel. For how many days? How many days? But the good aspect of this guy is that he never give up. He never give up. He continued to hammer the prayer. He continued to hammer the prayer. And they began to do the research. And say, where is the angel John? Where is the angel John? Help me say, where is the angel John? They say, we cannot find him. Because he's supposed to do what? To bring the blessing before that day. And get back to the fault that I'm already here. But I'm here. I'm here. But they look for him. They cannot find him. Because of the reason of the prayer of the Daniel. Because as he prayed, Daniel continued praying. And they sat and they said that this angel already moved to give that Daniel his answer. <sighs> what man part of this age is not just ordinary. When Europe, when Europe, is Europe, is Europe. When Europe, now is Europe. I need to live my life. Huh? Europe are not meant to serve God. As for Europe, you don't need to serve God. Now is Europe, Europe life. I'll tell you one thing: the land of this Europe will not reject anyone that died. If you die today and determine that here is the way you're going to be buried. The land will take you very fast. But it's foolish for you to die with all the whole thing, the package that God gave it to you. That's one thing I love with God. I'll be asked about this several but later understand it. Sometimes I was thinking that God will do everything for us. God will do everything for me. God, you do everything for me. It's not like that. If God gives you resources to do what to marry, it's not God that is going to do what to him. And it's still that woman, if it happens that that child enter, it's not God that is going to carry it for you. You are the one who is going to carry the child for good nine months. You have something to do. Hallelujah. Amen. You thought that the devil is after your beauty. No, it's really after what is inside, the gift that is inside you. That's what is after. Daniel 10. Daniel 10. I read 13 and 14. There's somebody here who needs to change. Change your attitude today. Change your thinking today. Change your reason today. Most of the things that happen to you take place at midnight. I never get there. Daniel 10. 13 and 14. But the priest of the world, kingdom of the passion, which hold me one and twenty days. You are blessed, son. Your hand will not dry. This heart will never be in vain. The God that brought you here will surely show his light upon your life. I read once again. Daniel 10, 13 and 14. 
But the prince of the kingdom of the Persian, which owed me one and twenty days, twenty-one days the old angel, this power, twenty-one days the old this angel. Do you know really why they hold the angel? Because they did not want that the land should be blessed. Do you know power that hold their blessing, hold your angel, because they are coming to deliver. Hallelujah. Is that it? Lo, Michael, the one of the chief priests, came to help me and remind me with the king of the Persia. What is it? Now I am come to make thee understand what shall be all thee. Ah, what shall be all their people in the Lord latter day? That God wants to show us. But we are not ready to fight. We never make up our mind to say, I'm ready, oh Lord God. But what we do is we continue talking. We continue complaining. Life is a bad challenge. Hallelujah. Amen. And that person. Elijah did not challenge the 450 prophets. Rather, he challenged their gods. Are you hearing me? Elijah did not challenge the 450 were the prophets. But what he challenged is their gods. Their gods is the one that do what that hurt people. The gods is the one that confuse people. Hallelujah. The bar you will fall today. Is there anyone here today that are ready to say that my family, the family we are coming from, therefore, father idols? Listen to me. This idols is in every tribe. Whether if you are Yoruba, if you are Osa, if you are Dom, if you are Ibo. Kemeru, all the many here, any place, they are everywhere. Listen, this course we are talking about, some of them will enter. No only unknown. Some of them will send people that they should. Some of these doors are located or the origin is what in India. But you send someone, but you don't know the direction. If a legion, if a legion spirit is in one man, think about how many calls your father consulted. Think about how many calls that you, you by yourself, have consulted. There are many of you here. When you enter this room, some of the people that brought you here use their head. Some they use their fingernails. Some they use their feet. And they put it somewhere. Yes, Do you know that God? Yes. Do you know it? You did not know it. But what happened is that you say, I already finished my money. I have paid all my money that I made. But what of those gods? One thing with them is that to enter is not a problem. But when you want to come out, that's where you put the peace. If the devil bring you in, for you to come out is a problem. If we say now, let everybody begin to remove the clothes here. You will find out that some people who have inner marks everywhere, who mark you. What the meaning of that mark? What the meaning of it? There might be the mark that this one is the mark of this. Remember in olden days, people are known by the proper mark they have. Many gods put their mark on you. Ownership of your life every day, and when you walk in a place, you walk in in a place that you're supposed to be blessed, but you come back home crying. You come back home crying. You come back home crying. Listen, if you don't know this, 
Our fathers, forefathers go very far. Our forefathers go very far. Some of them use human sacrifice for this God. Do you really understand this? And that's when any time they talk about Christ, anger, because they are the one who put angry. Any time they talk about Christ, you'll be very, very angry. Why should they even talk about it? Any time they talk about repentance, you'll be very, very angry. Why? Because of the presence of those doors. If you can hear me, church is not your problem. And church can never be your problem. Church can never be your problem. One of the reasons why the church is using the church is using is that because those gods set them, those gods set them up and give them the sign which you will need. And they use that sign to bring you in because they will provoke the poor problem in your life and push you to that place. Elijah, Elijah said, I compete, I compete with what the gods. Because that that prophet more than 50 watching. That one is slaughtered. Hallelujah. Time has come. It's a time. A time. Make a time. I want to drop this man by letting you do this. Set a time. Set a time. I don't know what the problem might be. Set a time. It's a match. You already trained enough. Coming to church is a training. Listening is a training. Faith coming by hearing. Hearing the word of God. So fasting is a training. You cannot just go and finish and enter inside and lock your door. We cannot just tell you. Now narrate on how many verses that Elijah prayed. But the time came. Elijah said, it is time for me, for me, to do what? To face this cause out. the problem. I don't know who they are. It might be marriage. It might be delay. They are gods. They are gods. Understand this. Gideon who down the idol of his family. Gideon. He's a woman like you. He put down the idol of his family. Gideon. Lift your voice before heaven. Oh Lord, it is my God. This Egyptian that has brought me this year, today might be end. When they are serious, they know. When they are serious, they know. Elijah says, My God. Elijah ran away. He ran away because of who? Because of this cause. Most of you today in Europe, you run away because of the hardship in Africa. If it's not because of hardship, how can one find a place that is to stay in this place like this? Winter. Cold. We have a good weather in Africa whereby you can change any clothes, any fashion, and display yourself. But most of the most we spend here is in jacket. From one jacket to another jacket. We take so many risks. Entering high sea. We lie so many ways to enter here. We do all manner of things to enter here. We say some of our lives to enter here. But they are still with you. They are still with you. They are still with you. This is the time for you to beat your heart. One thing with Jabez. Jabez understand what his problem is. And he faces it out. This is time to say, Oh Lord, was so ever thoughts that are causing confusion before me, my life, my miracle, my testimony, all of them will surely fall today. I read this. I read as I drop the mic. First King 18. You can read all the whole chapter. First King 18. Reading that seven. I read only that seven. Hallelujah. Hear me, O oh Lord. Hear me. That the people may know that thou art Lord God, and that thou hast turned their hearts back again. Hallelujah. From 
prophet of the bad they ran everything. And they called their God, they called their God, they called their God. But nothing happened. Preparation of this man made God to do what to cry like the gods of the world, the 450 prophets. If you make up your mind today, as I'm talking to you, if you make up your mind and say, change must be. Revival must be in my life. Revival must be in my life. I must become whom God has destined me to be. Listen to me. The woman with the issue of the blood only talked and she came out to do what to talk the blood of Jesus. If you can determine and say, my situation must change. My red color must change. That's who the Bible called five foolish virgins. The reason is that they are coming to church. Let me put it like that. They are coming to church, but they never abide with instruction. That will make them foolish. That hour, that hour, and they were thinking that it's like other day. Today might be a day for someone here. Today might be a special day for someone here. I don't know who you are. The need to determine again the relationship with God. Need to say that God, I have walked away. I have do this on my own. I'm a prodigal son. I'm a prodigal daughter. Today, oh Lord, I set me back. And you see the change that is going to happen. Lift your hand wherever you are. Say, my father, my, my Lord, my maker. My by the power my that is in the blood which you shed at the cross, for so ever power which holding me not to seek your face, wherever they are, arise, Lord. Arise, Lord. Arise, Lord. Arise, Lord. Arise, Lord. Arise, Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Say, my Father, my Lord, God, of my fathers, walking against my glory, wherever they are, God, of my mothers, God, of my in-laws, God, of my environment, walking against my testimony, wherever they are, oh Lord, arise, 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 Say, Lord, my Father, any power that have hijacked my angels, wherever they are, oh, Lord, arise, 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 in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. There's a something that you need to do as you close your eyes. Talk to yourself. Let your neighbor never hear what you are saying. As you are talking to the living God, tell him the area you wanted him to help you. Don't look at anyone. Help me for this battle. Help me for this new glory. This new open doors. There are some people that you see today, you say, I wish I'm like this. But God can take you to a place higher than them. God, my heart, everlasting heart, for me, the potent, for me, the sins. As I rehearse, oh Lord God, this one's unto you. I ask for whatever might be blockage to their prayer, oh Lord God, let the thunder from above break them in pieces. Every concrete, oh Lord God, cement, oh Lord God. Any concrete in any form, anyhow, that have blocked and said that their 